If you've ever tried to simulate gloss in Blender, you know that it can be quite jittery and janky. And I've had that same experience in the past. So I set aside the last week to figure out how you can simulate cloth and Blender without any jitter or jank. And I'm happy to say that I figured it out. So let's get started. I've prepared the scene with this dude doing a couple of fight moves and then stopping abruptly because that's the kind of scene that really triggers those cloth jitters. Additionally, I've pre-modeled a couple of shirt models to demonstrate the things that can cause cloth to jitter. Because this tutorial won't cover the absolute basics of cloth simulation, but rather show you how to eliminate all jitter and jank when simulating any kind of cloth. Now first, I'm gonna show you the baseline settings for good cloth simulation and then move on to how to tweak the different settings to remove jitter. In the collider settings of the collision of Object, in the soft body and cloth section, increase the damping to 1 to decrease jitter and reduce the outer and inner thickness to their lowest value to decrease the gap between the cloth and the collider. Then for the actual cloth settings, you'll want to set the quality steps to 30 and the vertex mass to 0.08 kilograms. Then in the collision section, set the quality to 8. Too high of a quality here can actually increase jitter, which is pretty interesting. Then enable self collision and set the distance for both collision types to their lowest value to further reduce the gap between cloth and collider. Now if we simulate, we can see that the result is better than with default settings, but there's still a lot of jank. So let's run down the things that make cloth janky and how to fix them. The biggest factor when reducing jitter is by far the vertex mass. I've experimented with all kinds of values and I found that for most cases the vertex mass of 0.03 to 0.1 kilograms works best, but of course if you have to go outside that range it's fine. But which one will actually result in the least jitter depends on the situation. So that means that you'll have to try around with this until you have the least jitter. Just as an example, for this simulation I had to use a vertex mass of 0.037 kilograms to reduce the jitter the furthest. Okay, so now let's move on to the next factor, which is if the piece of cloth is too tight. The way you can diagnose that is if there are gaps like this in the place where the cloth sews together. If those gaps are present, then the solution is to make the cloth a bit wider. The next factor is if the cloth mesh itself has uneven topology. So what I mean by that is if the mesh doesn't have at least squarish topology, has triangle faces or even worse, angons. For cloth stimulation, you really want clean square topology. Now if the cloth is still jittery, I have two more tips left. The first one is if you're sewing the cloth then you might want to limit the sewing force to something like 60 or so because I've had some cases where that solved the jitter. The second one is in the damping and stiffness section. I've experimented with some values here and found out that a value of 10 in all of these except the bending resulted in the least jitter. The reason why I mentioned it last is because it might change the look of the cloth a bit more than all the other tips. But now you should have a perfect cloth simulation. So if this video helped you at all please subscribe so you get notified when I make more content like this. Oil recorded.